beautiful. Can you find Sona? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Not yet, I'm not yet. Cry. First time I met you, I was blown away by your beautiful blue eyes. You are the love of my life. You are my confidant. You are my lifeline. And for whatever reason, the one person in this world that I cannot stay mad at. You're always trying to be better, trying to be more loving. I appreciate all of the little things that you do and all of the ways that you show your love. Today, in front of all of our family and friends, I choose you. I choose you. I choose us. Thank you for welcoming me into your family and for loving me unconditionally. I vow to spend the rest of my life making you as happy as you make me. I love you and here's to the next phase of our life. You already are the best husband. You're going to be the most incredible father and family man. Wherever life takes us, I know that I'll be alright as long as you're by my side. I love you forever. I now pronounce you husband and wife for the third time. Ragoff, you may kiss your bride. Okay, well, if my speech is entirely about thank yous, then it's going to sound like an Oscar award-winning speech. And that's just going to be silly. But then I thought, oh, well, I have the best award there is. That was incredibly cheesy, but he appreciates it. What a great daughter-in-law, right? We love you and proud of you. Honestly, you're a great photo Raghav, and I can't imagine him with anyone else that's so strong and caring. You're so strong, you sit through five-hour Indian movies with him, like I couldn't do. We are extremely excited to have you in our family, and you have already been such a blessing to it, so thank you. I appreciate how you support Ali and love, and love her well. She said, Mama, I met a very special man. He treats me like a queen. He makes me smile. He makes me laugh, and quote-unquote, he puts up with my antics. I knew right then and there she had found the right man. <laughs>